Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Behind the Reel. I'm your host, John, and today we've got another Humminbird video for you guys. We're gonna go over the Lake Master VX Premium card from Humminbird. If you guys are interested in getting a new mapping card for your Humminbird unit, this is the one that you want, and we're gonna go over how to get the best benefits out of this card right here. Stay tuned. Before we get today's video kicked off, I wanna shout out the sponsor of today's video, Sniper Marine. They've got the best pull system for your four facing transducer whether you're in a boat or a kayak go check those guys out at snipermarine.com and check out the video that we did going over the sniper marine scout pole that we installed on the hobie pro angler 360. now a lot of you guys have seen the video that we did going over the lake master plus card showing you guys how to get the most out of that thing we're going to do the exact same thing in this video right here you know, there are a lot more features on this VX Premium card. And uh, one thing right out of the box, when you open this thing up, you're gonna find a certificate in there giving you a code that's gonna allow you to download this and have access to the map on your phone through the One Boat Network app. This app has been a really helpful tool, helping me to practice and study the maps of the lakes that I'm getting ready to go fish right in the comfort of my own home. So definitely get the card. You're gonna want this on the water, but having it in the palm of your hand is an awesome benefit. And that's something that you're gonna get right out of the packet. Another thing that you're gonna get is you're gonna get the Strike Master capability. Strike Master is going to highlight key areas of a lake that you're looking to go fish based on the conditions, the species that you're targeting. You're gonna be able to enter in a bunch of information to help the program decide where the best key areas of interest are. Um, it's gonna it's gonna take into account time of year, all that stuff. So that is an awesome benefit. And before this card, this was a separate card that you had to purchase. So this is a great benefit that's built right into this card. Just like the Lake Master Plus cards, this is still gonna give you the aerial imagery overlays and the depth offsets. We've also got the 2D shaded relief option on this. This is a brand new feature for this card. This is an awesome benefit and I'm looking forward to using it to help me catch more fish. Okay, and we have the depth highlight. This is something that we had with the Lake Master Plus card, but we've got a few more options to highlight different lake levels and uh, this is gonna help you to key in on those areas, find offshore structure, see those creek channels, underwater islands and humps and all these sort of things that you were able to find before, but they're just gonna stick out much better once you have these new shading options. And we're gonna go over this right now. So let's go ahead, fire up the unit and check it out. All right, so I've got El Dorado Lake pulled up right here and I've got some really cool highlight options going on right here. Hopefully you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. You can see how this creek channel sticks out like a sore thumb. You can see how this main lake point comes out and you can see this uh, underwater hump right there. And uh, you see a bunch of deep water around it. You can see that the shallower water is highlighted in red right there. I've got a waypoint right on top of that. And this stuff is gonna stick out way better with these options that I have selected. And you're gonna be able to tailor this to your own eyes and you're gonna be able to figure out what's gonna help you to find these areas much more quickly. Okay, and with the aerial imagery overlay, you're gonna be able to look around the bank and you're gonna be able to find different types of bottom composition that might be budding up to the lake. So as you can see here, we've got a bunch of trees. Can't really see uh, the ground very well. We've got a whole bunch of trees out here. Um, but you know, if there was a big rocky bluff wall or if you had you know a chunk rock or a, you know a pea gravel bank you're going to be able to see that and um, you know this is going to help you to decide where you might want to fish if you're catching fish in a certain type of uh, bottom composition you're going to be able to look around Okay, so the big thing about that Lake Master Plus card that I went over and the big benefit that that video provided you guys was how to highlight all of these different depth zones or as many depth zones as possible uh, without actually having the benefit on the card itself. So that is one thing that is built in right into this card. It's gonna help you to pick out those areas much more quickly and you really don't have to do any hacks in order to get that information. All right, so let's go ahead and let's pull up the uh, settings on our chart tab. And we're gonna go ahead and hit our menu button twice. We're gonna go to chart. 
we're going to go to our Humminbird chart and then the first option we're going to see here is our depth highlight. We've got our depth highlight on and we've got our shallow water highlight on. So if we turn that off, you're going to see our red go away and that kind of turns into a more darker orange color. But I'm going to turn it on and then on my shallow water highlight color, you can pick different colors if you prefer something else. But I like the red. That's just what I'm used to. Um, and we've got highlight number one and we've got the highlight minimum and maximum set to 20 to 30 feet. So um, and that color, as you can see down here, is green. So that is something that we have actually set. So let's see what that looks like if we pull that off. Okay, so the green goes away. And um, if we go back and look here, that kind of matches our depth color palette a little bit better. But you know what? I really like that green. And sometimes you just have to play with some of these settings, figure out what works best for you. Um, and I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't already had that setting set in my unit. So that's something that you can take away from this video. Make sure you guys play with all these settings. Don't just take my word for it. Get in there, play with some stuff. If you mess something up, you can always restore back to defaults and start over. Let's go back over here and we're gonna go to our depth highlight. I'm putting that back in. Highlight number one, we've got 20 to 30 feet. And I really think that that helps that depth zone stick out way more. We've got something in between this yellow and this blue. Instead of it kind of just gradually fading into the next color, it's gonna stick out way more. And as you can see, we've got four more or three more options. We've got highlight one, highlight two, three, and four. So you guys definitely play with those. Figure out what works best for your eyes. And like I said, you're not gonna know what you like best until you mess around with it and try out new things. So yeah, I mean, I think that what comes in this card right out of the box when it comes to the shading, it, it definitely hit a home run, um, but you can actually dial it in and make it better. Now your water level offset, if your water is five feet high, you can go raise the water line by five feet and it's gonna take the contours five feet out off the bank. So that's gonna cover up some of your aerial imagery overlays and that's where you know using your transparency can help you. So if the water is clear up over the bank then and you're looking at that aerial imagery overlay, a lot of that information is not gonna be useful. So you can use that water level offset to back your contours off the bank just for a second to kind of look around and find whatever that piece of structure is that you're looking for. We've got depth contours. That's another one that we wanna look at here. Uh, you've got your contour lines on. You can turn those on or off. Still gonna show you the shading. Kind of gives you the same idea of what's going on. You just have no idea what the exact depths are. Definitely for me, I'm gonna always have those contour lines on. Um, you've got contour line color. You can actually change the color of the contour lines. I'm just gonna leave those that darker black color. Depth palettes, you can turn those on or off. So when you turn that depth palette off, you see that all of that shading that was built into this card just goes away and you're left with the shallow water highlight and your depth number one. So uh, if we were to go fill in depth two, three, and four, you might be able to get a very similar image based off of what we just saw. For me, I'm gonna use that depth palette. I really like that number one and I really like that we added in this green on here so I'm gonna roll with that okay and then here's one as well you can set the palette max the palette minimum and maximum range minimum you're gonna leave at zero uh, looks like default is 50 feet if we're at a lake that's not any more than 40 feet you could set it at 40 feet and then you're gonna be able to use the whole you're gonna be able to use all of the colors throughout that palette because you know at, at some point, if your depth palette is going from zero to 50, then and your lake's only 30 feet, then you're not gonna be able to see the last several colors um, that that depth palette has to offer. So um, you can go in there and you can edit this and, and figure out what you like best. You can see how effective this color palette is gonna be. We're just having these different color palette options. If you like one of these better, you might like this one better here.
I mean, that looks good. I, there's nothing wrong with that. I think I just like that blue in the, in the deeper water. It's really probably because that's what I'm used to. That's how that Lake Master Plus card was as well. So I like that. My eyes are used to it. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to roll with. Now let's go down here to the Smart Strike. We can go in here. We can select our lake. We're going to select El Dorado Lake. And we'll go over this so you guys can see exactly what this is going to look like on your body of water. So here we are. It's going to pull up our options right here. What we're going to do is we're going to go to target species, largemouth bass. We're going to go spring, time of day, morning, afternoon, weather, clear skies, hazy skies, wind. We'll go windy because we're in Kansas. That's, that's what we deal with. Murky stained water. That's pretty accurate. searching all right now what it has done is it has added all of these areas for us to look to to search and some of these areas are right on top of some of our contour information that looks pretty good as well you know you see you see some out here on this roadbed we've got a roadbed that comes through here we've got the old dam You've got some really drastic contour changes. I mean, you look around, you can explore all these different areas on the lake, and some of them you're going to catch fish on, some of them you're not. But if you're going to a new body of water, this is a really awesome option for you guys to look at. And, you know, normally you have to pay extra for these type of features. This is something that's built right into this card. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're adjusting the shaded relief transparency. And this is going to allow you to see the bottom composition that uh, Lake Master has compiled this information. And basically, this is going to show you the bottom hardness. And it's going to be represented by these different colors here. So you've got, you know, your harder bottom out on the bank you know a lot of this is a rock bank so that makes a lot of sense and as the colors get softer the bottom gets softer so let's see if there's any areas that really stick out like look here you can see that this is a really hard bottom you can see that this point comes out a lot further than you know really meets the eye if you're out running this lake you really have no idea how, how far that this comes out. If you do not have information like this at your disposal. And then the other thing too, like even if you know your contour information is telling you that that main lake point comes clear out there, you have no idea what kind of bottom composition that is made of. So being able to actually look at your chart and tell like, hey, there is a hard bottom that comes clear out. You're going to be able to find spots like this using the shaded relief option. And this is something that's definitely going to come in handy when you're fishing new bodies of water. But you're, you may be able to find out information like this on a body of water that you've been fishing for years. You might have been catching fish there and you may not realize why. It may be because of something like this. And this is exactly why I highly recommend the Lake Master VX premium card if you're looking into getting a new mapping card for your hummingbird unit this is definitely the one there's a few more benefits and features that we didn't go over today but we went over the main ones and the ones that I feel like are really going to help you to become more efficient on the water spend less time messing with your graphs and more time fishing that's what it's all about guys so I appreciate you for tuning in if you haven't done so check out that hummingbird playlist hit that subscribe button and guys We'll see you on the next one.